Hey guys, how's it going? So Amy and I have been tagged to do the uh, one, two, three challenge, and um, we'd like to thank uh, Lauren and Ray from LSR and Life and My Life as a Shell Seven for tagging us in this particular challenge. Thanks, guys. Okay, so the way this works is basically um, there's a series of questions and. Um, and we have to answer them about each other, but uh, we both have to give uh, the answer at the same time. So, um, basically, uh, like we, we would answer each question twice. Uh, once about Amy, once about me. And um, she would say her answer at the same time I would say what I think her answer is. And then we would do the same in reverse, um, if that makes sense. Um, you, you guys will get it. Okay, so the first question is, if your boyfriend or girlfriend could be married to a movie star, who would it be? One, One two, two, three. Guyton Grantley. Sorry. <laughs> it's the eyes! It's always been the eyes! Sorry. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Guyton Grantley is an Australian movie and television actor. And um, I don't think he's well known overseas yet. I think he's had bit parts, but nothing major, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, two three. three. Zoe, Zoe Deschanel. Deschanel. What can I say? She's cute. Okay, the next question is, if your boyfriend or girlfriend could be a celebrity, who would it be? One, two, three. Lisa Betty Lowe. Page. Lisa Loeb. <laughs> but you like the vintage pin-up stuff. I thought Betty Page, for sure. Yeah. People used to say I looked like her, though. Lisa Love. Mm. Or Nana Muscuri, if we want to go really old school. I'm Greek or Italian. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just thought. You, yeah, Betty you're... Page, yeah, I, know. I, like, I like her too. And plus, you are as, well, more, even more sexy than she oh, is. Oh, sharks. <laughs> One, two, three. Patrick Jim Carrey. Nelson. Yeah, sorry. You so remind me of him. Yeah, but it's not who I want to be. I know, but I know you Should... probably don't think that. To me, you look like it. Okay, fair and enough. And you've got his mannerisms and some of the characters he's played remind me of you in a good way. Okay. but uh, it... I didn't didn't know you really liked Jim Carrey that much. Or thought yourself as Jim Carrey. There we go, All we're right. learning about each other. Uh, the next question is, uh, you've gone to 7-Eleven to get milk and decide to buy your boyfriend or girlfriend a treat. What do you buy? One, two, three. Max Cadbury eggs. favourites. Cadbury favourites? What the... <laughs> well, the question said treat. I thought, like, chocolate treat or something. Yeah, magazine could be a treat. But you don't eat a magazine. <laughs> Who said you had to eat it? <laughs> One, two, three. Kit Kats. Kit -Kats. All the Kit Kats. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. whole store of Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats, what can I say? They're they're my vice. Yeah. That and Maltesers. That's Kit Kats. What percentage of housework would your <laughs> boyfriend or girlfriend say that they do? One, One two, two, three. Seventy five percent. Close. You thought you think I do more than what I think I do. I'm giving you <laughs> some credit here. Come on, <laughs> go with it. Go with it. Run. An extra five percent. One, two, three, fifty percent. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of true, though. It's true. Yeah, I do my fair share around the house. Yeah, it's true. If your boyfriend or girlfriend could choose one thing for you to get rid of, what would it be? One, two, three. Your Xbox horror collection. My horror collection. Yeah. I'm a great fan of horror, and um, I decided it was a good idea. <laughs> To decide to watch all our DVD collection, forgetting that this one's a horror fan. One, two, three. Half a wardrobe. Shoes? Does that count? I'm sorry, but you've got like <laughs> so many clothes. Yeah, I really need to go through and give a lot to Goodwill. <laughs> I say that every, all the time. Yeah, I'll do it next oh. week. But yeah, I've really got to get around to doing it. Hmm. Because this poor guy's only got... I don't even know how much of a wardrobe or cupboard space that this poor guy's got. Which is pretty much nothing. I'm sorry, Chris. 
What is your boyfriend or girlfriend's most repeated sentence or phrase? One, two, three. You yeah. silly duffer. <laughs> I thought it would have been the end. Because I've been saying that a lot lately. The end. And yes, I am a Stanley Kubrick fan. Yeah. And you, you, you always call me a silly duffer. Well, I do. I prefer that being called silly duffer than being called stupid or silly. <laughs> so I'll always say duffer over silly or stupid. One, two, three. Hey, Can you scratch my back? Kind of says at first, Hey, Amy. <laughs> hey, Amy, can you come here? Hey, Amy, can you scratch me back? Hey, Amy. <laughs> hey, Amy. Hey. He's been saying that a lot lately. Well, it is me name, he can't wear it out. <laughs> or can he? What is your boyfriend or girlfriend's most used swear word? Um, cuss word. Oh, same thing. We call but... it swearing here in Australia. One, One, two, two three. three. <laughs> this is not as bad as somebody else I know, but anyway. One, One two, two, three. three. I don't really hear you cuss. That's the thing. You know that most interesting man in the world meme? I don't always cuss, but when I do... What is your boyfriend or girlfriend's ultimate favourite movie? One, One two, two, three. three. Virgin, Virgin Suicides. Suicides. Yeah, it's just the cinematography. Yes, I have watched it over 30 times. And okay. yes, I like Sofia Coppola. One, two, three. Jurassic, Jurassic Park! Park. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Ever, ever since I, I, I first saw that movie when I was 10 years old. Actually, no, technically I was 9 years old because it came out just before my 10th birthday. A meteorite just hit. You've saved everything important. What would your boyfriend or girlfriend go back to get? One, two, two three. three. Our photo pepper... shoots photos. I saw the pepper collection. And yes, the photos too. Now, I thought that... Okay. In all seriousness, when everything has been saved, I count all photos as in being saved. And documents. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm talking about something, if it was lost, you'd cry for a bit and you'd move on. One, two, two three. three. The photo of our first kiss. What were you going to say? I was going to say all your memorabilia. <laughs> all my memorabilia. And then this one pulls out the sentimentality card. Oh my god. Well, we should keep uh, this guy and bottle him and sell him to all these insensitive bastards who don't know well, how to be nice. Well, well, how many couples can say they have a photo of, of Well, of that's their true. Kids? That's true. Hmm. And but, Okay, okay. The, yeah. story, the story is um, Amy and I were, were in a photo booth. It was like, kind of like, well, it was kind of like our first official day. Mm -hmm. And um, the photos were just about to be taken, and suddenly she just grabs me and kisses me. Uh, okay, so the final question is, uh, the saying opposites attract is true because me and my boyfriend or girlfriend are opposite at blank. One, One two, two, three. three. Climbing. Cooking. Well, okay, that makes sense, climbing, since I'm originally from a warmer state. Yeah. And you're, and you're I'm from... from a... the mo one of the most coldest in the country. <laughs> and, and I said cooking because... Um, because of uh, like like you like to do like do like me, me <laughs>